All right, on to acceleration. So what we're going to be doing here is showing you how to do the calculations for acceleration ticker tapes. I've drawn an example of a strip, a strip on a piece of paper, and um, let's see if we can work out acceleration. Now, the first thing here to remember that acceleration is a vector. Okay, so we put a little arrow over the top, and remember, a vector is a quantity that has both size and magnitude. Sorry, size that is magnitude or direction. And so here we're just going in a straight line. So if we were saying um, that this way was east, right, then of course we, we can say um, it's being pulled towards the east, right? It's accelerating towards the east. So let's check out our details here. Acceleration is the change in velocity divided by time. So if we're going to work out a change in velocity, we've got to work out what velocity it starts with and what velo velocity it finishes with. So let's look at our strip. So we've got to work out a velocity in this section, our beginning velocity, and then a velocity up here. And it's an average velocity. So let's work out the velocity of this first point, and let's just go to there. Right? So we'll call this velocity initial with the, lower, with the little i there. And then we'll just take these ones here, and we'll call that velocity final. All right. So our formula for acceleration would be the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time over which that strip was moved, right? So let's do some calculations and then we'll come back to this equation here. So let's look at our initial velocity as the motorbike goes by. So we have this initial velocity and velocity is displacement, right, divided by time or the distance divided by time. And so we have uh, one two, three dots. So our time for this particular one, our time is going to be 3 times 0 0.02. That'll be our time in seconds. So let's calculate that. 3 times 0 0.02 equals, and that's 0 0.06. So that's our time, 0 0.06 in seconds. Now we need to work out our displacement or our um, distance here so let's just measure it and we're seeing here that from the ruler it's looking to be around about 2.1 centimeters right so the displacement is 2.1 centimeters which is equal to 0 0.021 meters so let's put that in 0 0.021 meters so now we calculate the initial speed 0 0.021 divided by 0 0.06 equals 0 0.35 meters per second. So that is our initial velocity. We're going to need some more room here. Let's, uh, let's move down here to work out our V2. I should say our V final velocity. And let's get some, some uh, I guess, data. So if this is our V final data, we'll just put it here. All right. So our, whoops, our displacement is if we measure that now, that looks to be around about 6.1 or 6.2. So let's write 6.1, which is 0 0.061 meters. Then we have the time and we've got one, two dots. So that's two times 0 0.02. So the time, therefore, is 0 0.04. So now we've got some details to put in here. So our displacement divided by time is equal to 0 0.061 meters divided by 0 0.04 seconds. Let's whack that into the calculator. 0 0.061 divided by 0 0.064. Oops. Uh, I love this calculator. It's not very sensitive. Let's try it again. 0 0.061 divided by 0 0.04. Okay. So that's saying it's 1.53 meters per second. So now we have a value for both initial speed and final speed. Now we can go back to our acceleration formula, plug those values in. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's write it over here. Acceleration is equal to the 
final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by time the final velocity was 1.53, 1.53. The initial velocity was 0.35. Now here's the place where most people get a little bit stuck, is the time. Since we're talking about average velocity here, right, average velocity, we need to make sure that we count in between the ticks, right? So here's in between the first tick, so from at, in the middle to in the middle of the second tick, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven time periods counting in between the ticks, right? So we have to go, our time now is seven times the time for each tick, which we're all dot making is 0 0.02, right? So let's put that in the calculator. So we have, and let's just try and do this in one whole step, 1.53 minus 0 0.35 bracket. And we divide that there by the bottom calculation, 7 times 0 0.02. Oh, I love this calculator. 0 0.02 okay and let's press equals and it says it's 8.43 meters per second squared okay so that is the acceleration for that particular strip okay I hope you can just see it down the bottom there so I hope that makes sense Okay, to do acceleration, you need to remember the formula, final speed minus initial speed. Of course, that means you have to find out the speeds in two different locations on your strip, right? The initial speed, the final speed. Once you've done that, you plug it into your formula. But the key is to remember about the time, and it's the time, the average time of the strip in terms of counting between the dots. And that'll give you the correct time for your acceleration Hopefully your calculator will be a bit more sensitive than mine and you'll get the correct answer. That's acceleration and I hope that made sense. And um, I hope you enjoy these videos and learn a lot from them. Catch you next one.